You knew you wanted to do science early oh, on. Oh, yeah. W why? Age nine. I was called uh -huh. by the universe. You were called by the universe? Yeah, first visit was here divinely... to the Hayden planet. Oh, uh... I didn't say divinely. I just said the universe. <laughs> <laughs> you put the divinity no, yeah, in the yeah, universe. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's what I like, too. It's one of my <laughs> divine bits. But, um... uh, so uh, my first visit to the New York City's Hayden Planetarium. Is it, and that where, was where... That's where our office is right now. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're recording this. It's a story that I think plays better in a small town. You know, yeah, small yeah. town kid goes away, comes back and runs the stuff. Here I tell that to people. They say, yeah, and your point is, <laughs> it's, just, it's not as impressive With in a big town. Yeah. But a part of me is delighted, even enchanted by the the duty that I sure. have, have to bring to others what educators and scientists of yore mm -hmm. have brought had brought to me when I was up and coming. Well, look, I mean, I, I think, yeah, that, I think that notion, I mean, there's very few people of, who are as renowned science communicators as you. And so with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> 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 and, but, but was it really, I mean. Is this a script for a superhero movie? <laughs> yeah, what are we doing right, here? Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. know what, I don't know how we can figure out who's who yet, but we'll worry about that. Plus you need a deeper voice. With great power <laughs> comes great you, responsibility. You've got the voice. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Um. So was it really the, uh, transformative? Was it really an epiphany coming here? Or was it, I mean, when you were growing yeah, up before- Yeah, it was epiphanic. Yes. Yeah. I'm in the dome and the lights dim, the stars come out, and I'd only seen the stars from the Bronx. Oh, which you, can all, you all see? A dozen can, of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was say. Right. And so the stars come out in the dome of the mm -hmm. planetarium. And think about it. It's kind of planetarium experiences. We probably all remember our first time yeah. in a planetarium dome. Yeah. And in a way, it was the world's first virtual reality yeah, space. Sure. Just yeah, think about absolutely. that, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. You're transformed, the room disappears, and you're just yeah. floating in space. And I was just awestruck, starstruck, I yeah, should say. Yeah, uh -huh. And that starstruckness stayed with me. And uh, first I thought it was a hoax. Was like, there aren't this many stars. Yeah, I know, no, I have no, evidence, yeah. I have Bronx evidence <laughs> yeah. that there aren't this many stars. And then I learned later that that is how many, there's yeah. more than that even. Yeah, yeah. And and it was not the space program, even though these years occurred in the late 1960s for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was, I loved that we went to the moon, but that had no forces operating on my ambitions mm -hmm. to study the universe. I knew enough then that the moon is like sitting in front of our noses. Oh, okay, see, And see. I cared about, you know, the Big Bang and uh, galaxies and quasars. Wow, and okay, So that was on a scale far beyond just joyriding in orbit, you wow. know, 200 miles above Earth's surface, or even the moon that is far to our spaceships, but close yeah, for a lot, in, for in a lot the of universe. Kids.